Good evening. Thanks for joining us. More than 40 people attended a court hearing today over Zoom for a Green Bay man accused of causing a deadly two car crash on Christmas Day. The crash happened on I-43 northbound at the Fisher Creek Road overpass just before 3 in the afternoon in the town of Centerville. Philip Slozuski is charged with two counts of knowingly operating a motor vehicle while suspended, causing death. According to court records, he told deputies he was trying to pass another vehicle when his steering wheel became very loose and he lost control. He says he was unaware he had hit another vehicle before going off the road and flipping over, killing his mother, Clarine, and wife, Heather. In a first alert update tonight, Samantha Cavalli joins us live from the Manitowoc County Courthouse with reaction from both sides of the family. Samantha. Bill and Cammie, emotions high today in a courtroom in Manitowoc County here at the courthouse just behind me. As today, the judge ruled there is enough evidence to continue the case and move forward with the criminal case against Philip Slazuski. Now, the one question that remains, though, is did he actually know that he had a suspended license? Philip Slazuski, uh, the prosecutor, indicated that he actually received three separate notices in the mail, including two in Brown County, informing him his driver's license was suspended and he hasn't paid those fines. When the on-duty deputy asked for Slazuski's driver's license, he told him it, quote, might be suspended. Defense attorney Ann Larson asked the different uh, officer on the stand today if he knew if the responding deputy captured the conversation between him and Slazuski on his body camera. If Slazuski truly didn't know his license was suspended, Larson says it's a misdemeanor. If he did know, it's a felony. Following the judge's ruling on probable cause, Larson asked for a reduction in bond. Some family members of Slazuski's late wife made statements to keep bond as is. His daughter Kaylee thinks otherwise. He should not be in jail. Not for this. He should be out with his family grieving the way that he needs to be. Being in there is not helping him grieve. I don't like hearing my father call me crying, telling me that he wants to get out. He shouldn't be in there. It was an accident that killed his wife and his mother. Well, the judge reduced that bond down from $300,000 to $10,000. Lazuski will be back in court sometime mid-February. Reporting live in Manitowoc, Samantha Cavalli, Action 2 News.